Hello, everybody. We grab it here, and welcome back to our LP of Persona 3 Portable. Gotta admit, don't remember what happened exactly the last time we left off. What I do know is that relatively close to it, we're close to maxing out Chihiro. That was a fun scene with her getting all mad about us getting close to Matsuri. She's like, no, like I'll handle it myself. Don't get near him. It was really funny. And then I remember that we also started the, the link with Fuka. That's kind of the last thing I remember. But besides that, we'll have to see where the story goes. Uh, with me, of course, is Terrific. Say hello, Terrific. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Baby Daddy, because by the time this episode comes out, my second child should be here. So that that's exciting. That is pretty exciting. That's really crazy. Um, yeah, I know, man. That's, that's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. But damn, exciting stuff. Are you excited? Are you anxious? <laughs> Yeah, I've already got my suitcase packed, and uh, I've already got uh, my excuse of going to go buy some milk. So oh, I'm ready God. to dip out <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> oh my God! If you're gonna say suitcase sounds kind of suspicious, and then the rest of it's like, oh no! <laughs> oh God, that's terrible. That's funny. All right, so in the game, we're gonna start by doing the quiz game because, as you know, we have maxed out our courage and charm, but we still are working on those academics. So there we go. We're still working on that. All right. So it's a Sunday. There's no school today. Nobody, and nobody called us. You know, sometimes they call us to hang out. Nobody called us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, All right. We're so unpopular. Yeah. Today we are, I guess. All right. So it's me while on the Tatsumi Port Island back alley. So you've seen this location a couple times. Do as usual, huh? All right. So who is he talking to? Hmm? Ah, remember this guy? We've seen this guy a couple times. So he keeps yeah. popping up. Why are you here? If you came here to try and convince me, then forget it. It's nothing like that. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Huh? We've known each other for a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. They were funny, but instead of uh, orphanage, like, we've known each other a long time. Twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you a normal because they're twin brother. Uh, yeah. they, look kind of, they, they look kind of like is what I mean. If you kind of look at it, kind of. Yeah, they kind of do. I can but, see it. But nah, I suppose they're just sure from the orphanage. You mean no. me. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other friends. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually you just charge ahead like a damn fool. Oh, dang. So obviously Ooh. there's something on your mind. <laughs> I do reminisce sometimes, but what's the point? <sighs> anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the dark hour. No shit. Yeah. To be honest, all I've been thinking about lately is getting stronger. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. So if you remember, that's um, he's talking about Yukari because she yelled at them when she found out that they had been hiding stuff from from the. Uh, yeah. They see him and uh, Mitsuru were hiding stuff from like the lower classmen, and she was really mad. Mm -hmm. So that's what he's talking about. Your reason for fighting, huh? That's different for every person. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit, like I did. I'm not like you. Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. Well, see you around. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. You know, I just noticed this man always has like a huge coat and um, hat. Like, is this supposed to be like the middle of summer? <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, he doesn't get hot. He's just that cool. Hey. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Uh, I guess so, because yeah, he's always uh, wearing freaking heavy ass clothing. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Fuka's room at the dormitory. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? No. <laughs> Just close the door. <laughs> oh, please come in. Not only do you excel at providing support during battle, but also at obtaining information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. They're strangling her. How did you do it? Where did you get the information? <laughs> You're not in trouble, but I do have a special favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident 10 years ago. But very little was made public. 
that's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean hack into their system? That's illegal. I'll give you my ID and password. Girl. You'll be free from accountability. I want to know the truth. In detail. Senpai. Of course. I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Who is like getting hacked into like some major corporation stuff and like no consequences? Hell yeah. <laughs> Gishi, aren't you resentful? After all, despite my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. Certainly you must be a little angry with me. Not really. You see, my parents have an inferiority complex because all my relatives are doctors. That's why they're so oh. tough on me. It's really hard for me to be at home. Yes, yeah, so he told us she probably didn't want to be at home, remember? But here, <laughs> yeah. I feel important. And I can help you and the others. So why should I be angry? You're right, Yamagishi. We do need you. No one can take your place. Uh, um. Oh, she blushed. Thank you. I'll see you later. All right, so everyone's up and around just doing different stuff. Meanwhile, in front of yeah. Tatsumi Port Island Station. So, Tartarus and the Dark Owl will be gone, huh? He's like, but then I won't have powers. I'm going to screw <laughs> up everything. That's good. That's what we've been fighting for. So why am I so pissed? Because you're a little bitch, Junpei. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. But you're not, though. Seriously. But at least Dang. we're seniors now. We won't be wearing these stupid uniforms much longer. Yeah, I've had enough of this. I just want to get accepted to college and start having some fun. No, if enemies taught me anything, <laughs> you're already supposed to have fun, and then your life ends. <laughs> and then you get hit by a car, and, get, and you get sent to a magical world where you can have magical powers, and you're like the leader and all that other fun stuff. See, but it only happens if you're lucky, though. It's like winning the lottery. True. It doesn't happen well, for everybody. Lucky. I'm the reason. Oh. I was like... Fighting is my duty, but hell, it's all I'm good for. If I were for that, I'd be worthless. <laughs> my duty. What a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> he said duty. I can't fight <laughs> shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Yeah, so Jim is already having an infuriety complex. Nothing I do is good enough. <sighs> Alrighty. And then, oh, yeah. so you can't say about June pay. Nah. Meanwhile, Yukari is moving to the door. Just like, nah. <laughs> he can figure it on his own. Um, anyway. Uh, I like how the poster she has. It's like really low low res, but the one on the left, it looks like it's like a... a I swear, you can tell it's probably like a like a, a boy band or something. It looks like five guys mm -hmm. or something. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Seems like my worst fears keep coming true. Yo, like, her choker's cute, but I feel like that would be so uncomfortable. It just looks way too thick, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah. And, I, and now yeah. that I'm looking at it, she has a really long neck. I mean, that's just the style. If you look at Fuka, she has like a really long neck too. It's kind of weird, but that's just the style. That's but, true. but still, I'm just telling you, I feel like that would be like a really uncomfortable choker. I feel like it, it's like too thick. It looks like it's like like, like leather. I feel like it's, it'd be like wearing a collar. <laughs> yeah. I believe in things like trust and friendship. Dad, this old letter of yours. I must have read it a thousand times since it came last spring. Oh. March 6th, 2000, to my family. I heard dad sounds like one of the characters, honestly. I don't know if it, like, like, kind of maybe, like, <laughs> kind of like Akihiko, maybe? Tomorrow I bring this yeah. I, mean, I think it's the Akihiko's voice. I think it's Akihiko's voice. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so um, we haven't really, remember she wouldn't know much of our family. She's not her dad died and her mom is really distant from her. So she's finally revealing uh -huh. that she got a letter from her dad. It'll be stored in a time capsule and sent to you 10 years from now. Yukari, you're so small right now, but in 10 years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you still always greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Karijo san appointed me head researcher. Oh, remember that they said that one of the researchers was was basically the scapegoat when things went wrong? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll be starting on a big project soon, and I'm happy to be receiving so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you that nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Dad. Then why'd you leave? 
Yukari, are you remembering to enjoy life? Are you still bright-eyed and hopeful, like you are now? No matter what happens in the next ten years, I hope you're happy. Well, I hope this letter brings a smile to your face. Love, Dad. No matter what happens, huh? I can't lose hope. For his sake. I won't turn my back. I won't be like Mom. Not ever. Alrighty, so we're kind of seeing a little bit of character motivations here and there. Interesting, interesting. All right, yeah. now it comes to me, and it's just exams are coming up, and my dude's just a lazy ass just in his room. <laughs> he has no no backstory or anything, apparently. He's just, yeah. Right, yeah. So it's, sun it's Sunday. Let's see what's on TV. Well, I mean, we know what's on TV, but let's just see what they have for sale. I mean, hey, it's this guy. It's our uh, the guy who's training us to be a scumbag like him. <laughs> oh, Max Safety Shoes. Sounds good. And some trickster, whatever that is. So yeah, let's just buy it. We have enough money to throw around. We're always gonna buy whatever they have I mean, selling. Yeah, we do. We're filthy rich. Basically. All right, so we bought them. There we go. I really, I really want to go back and like do the whole Maya thing, but not yet. Unfortunately, we have something to do in town. So let's go to town. No, oh. I know. And it's gonna be somebody new. Well, we did see him once before, but we're gonna back over here. And it's this guy. Remember this guy? We saw him. Uh, apparently, Maiko, yeah. Miko, whatever her name is. Yeah, so we're going to see what his deal is. We're going to talk to him. So, thing young man, it says, your eyes are so clear. Your soul must be burning brightly. The young man must be intrigued by you because of your impressive academics. So, if it Ooh. wasn't that it wasn't that high, which we're lucky it's as high as it is. Because, honestly, it could be lower. But, uh, apparently, it's high enough to impress mm -hmm. him, which is good. He says, the me that I see reflecting your eyes and the real me, if there is such a thing, how apart, how far apart are they? Uh, almost zero. Hmm, that works. The thing young man seems happy for some reason. Your words are very beautiful. If I had something to write with, I'd write them down. I have a fountain pen. It uses red ink. Blood red. My pen is my supporter, my spokesman, and my friend. However, it seems to have disappeared. Without it, my screams are silenced. The young man seems sad. Apparently, his fountain pen is missing. Yeah, so we can't do too much there. Have, you, have you ever been... Oh, yeah, I was just, you can see he's going through some stuff, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was going to say, have you ever been, like, so connected to a pen that if you lose it, your whole mood just shifts and you're just not the same person anymore? No. <laughs> oh, I have every single day. Like, I remember I lost my favorite pen. I named it... But uh, Penny, and one day shut me up. and Penny were at the <laughs> no, no, shut up. The way I like think no. about the name, I'm like, no, shut up. <laughs> oh my god, no, I was like, come uh, on, man. <laughs> no, you're kidding. Listen, man, I had a, a whole story. I was gonna go through a whole character arc if you let me finish. Nah. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so after we talk to him, we guys we have to keep in mind the whole pen thing, and we want to do now is that we want to go over here. We want to put female classmate, and we want to put treasurer chi hero, so we can finally max her out. I guess there we go. All right. It says you hear a divine message, blessings to the believer. Oh, today's luck is according to the fortune, you will have fair luck. Money may also be in your future. I like how we always find money. It's like, yeah. spend a hundred. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you, your luck will be okay. F find a thousand. Just like ten times our money. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, she says, "How was your day?" And that's it. Where is she anyway? Oh, she's over here. I'm like, where is she? I don't even see her. All right, so that was pretty cool. It was a pretty uneventful day. What we want to do now? Hmm. Actually, because remember we are had with them some things. What does it say to do with? Okay, hold on. The monk. Monk, 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 monk. Where's the monk? Yeah, he's already level four. It says to talk to him to make a level four, but we already did that. So mm -hmm. let me see if instead I'm gonna save just in case I mess it up. I'm gonna say, what if we go and I think you can't. I think it's too late. But I was like, what if we try to use the computer in our room? I don't think we can. Mm -hmm. Let me just check. Let's see real quick. What happens if we try to desk study? No. Yeah, I, I guess we can't use the computer, unfortunately. I think you can only use it in the daytime. Day. No. Um, well, but yeah, sucks. since we already did the monk, though, 
I guess we'll just study and in, in place of it that we can just keep boosting academics, I guess. So we'll just do that real quick. So we will study. Ah, real All quick right. though. And you remember, is he tired? Oh, he's good. Because remember last time we like totally wasted a spot. I was really lame. Mm -hmm. uh, so you should study time before you want to bed. Why not? Since we already have rank four with the monk, we're a little ahead. You decide to study. Hopefully this will help us level up. Your academics have increased. Yeah, it takes forever for academics, but at least it's getting there. You're feeling sleepy. You have study enough for tonight. Okay, so at least we're still building up to it. So that's still pretty good. All right, I'm very something's gonna happen. In your room. You sense someone's presence. It's good to see you again. Ah, it's this little freak. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So, how's life as a Persona user? Uh, what should we put? Fulfilling? They... Huh? I, I definitely feel like he would be the type to say something's missing. Okay, sure. I wonder what. I hope you'll find it soon. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all goes back to an occurrence that took place many years ago. Ah, see, so lots of starting to build up to that whatever happened 10 years ago. It's all starting to kind of, yeah. uh, all right, so. 10 years ago, if I remember correctly. Hey, didn't your parents pass away about 10 years ago? Ooh, way to bring it up, you jerk. Right? It's just punch him in the face. <laughs> You'll have to sleep. No, but huh? See how it's all building up? Interesting. A persona yeah. is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape from his true self. Regardless, I will stay with you because we're friends. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, get in here, I guess. <laughs> he's, he's like, open the covers. Well, get in here, I guess. Uh, so I think it's funny. I think it jumped from one to three because I don't think it was at two. I might be wrong, but I want to say jump from one to three, which is kind of weird. But it might not. Well, I might have just missed night. it. Wait, where are you going? You're supposed to stay here. You say you never leave. <laughs> just feel betrayed. You liar. Um, <laughs> it's, like, it's like crying. Everybody always leaves. Oh my god, it's so silly. Anyway, uh, you over here, conversation. Ah, final start tomorrow. I feel like we just finished exams a little while ago. What am I gonna do if I fail again? I wish the school wouldn't post our names. Yeah, that's the worst part. You get a bad grade and everyone looks at you like your dog just died. <laughs> Which I thought, I thought that was the point. I thought they didn't put names. I thought the way they do it is they just put like a number. So you look for your number and what grade you got. I mean, but if everyone knows, well, I was going to say, well, maybe if everyone knows what number you have, then maybe. But they did specifically say names, though. So maybe in this school, they do names. Or it could be that this is before they decided to change that. Because I know I've seen stuff where they, uh, they you, the characters are looking for like their number. You know what I mean? So this might have been before they started changing. Yeah. Maybe they were like, yeah, it's kind of ch jacked up, actually. You know what I mean? So maybe they decided to do numbers just to make it easier later. Yeah. Or I said, maybe the school doesn't give a shit. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> uh, so she says, Ah, oh, that's nice. She's Mrs. Not Miss. Damn. <laughs> Oof. Damn. All right. So exams will start tomorrow. Are you all ready? Summer vacation is just ahead, so study hard. Summer is speech season. Shave dice. Wee! It's also the hottest season, Wee! so don't neglect your health, okay? Oh, by the way, there's a popular event in Japan in the summer that can be a little scary. You look tired. Should we close your eyes? Uh, you know, no, because we no. still need the we still need the academics. So yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, it's a girl's chance to get closer to the boy she's interested in. It's called Kimo Demeshi. I've never heard of that. Two people go summer haunted. At, okay, I've heard of this. Two people go summer haunted at night to test their bravery. If it's a boy and a girl, well, he <laughs> Anyway, enjoy your summer and make sure you come out of it with some good memories. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. That was a lecture? <laughs> it's not like just gossip. <laughs> there we go. Got more academic stuff. So there we go. It was worth it. <laughs> ah, I remember this next one. I don't like this one, but you got to do it if you want to max everything out. Real quick, though, let's talk to Junpei. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, man. How am I depressing. I know. Oh, man. How am I supposed to study for exams at a time like this? This sucks. There's no way I can get a good score. Oh, well, at least he wasn't a little, little dickhead. He's just is sad about academics, I guess. Yeah. All right, so this is a weird one. It's it's a, a I remember this social link. I don't like it, but like I guess if we were trying to we're trying to do as many as possible, so we'll just you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Polonia Mall. 
And we, I don't know if you've noticed this kid before. Have you noticed him before? Whenever we've been around? Um, maybe? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, because some of the people, they're usually here. We've seen them before. Like, this old man, he's in many different locations. So, yeah, this guy, he's sat here before, but we haven't talked to him. So, what we're going to do is we're going to talk to him. Yeah, so he's like, munch, munch, munch. Hmm? And he's like, what? Don't look at me while I'm eating. You're making me feel so conscious. <laughs> oh, you spoiled the moment. I can't say with the flavor of my limited edition gourmet sandwich with you here. It seems you were able to distract him from his limited edition gourmet sandwich because of your charm. So that's one of the things, again, we probably could have talked to him like a while ago, but our charm had to be high enough. So it's, it's been high enough for a bit uh, now. So that's I why we- gotcha. Yeah, so we charmed him. And he's like, what do you want? So we're gonna ask him, what are you eating? Oh, you're curious? Do you consider yourself a gourmet? Is that possible, a slim guy like you? Prove it. <laughs> if you can pass my gourmet quiz, then I'll believe you. Hmm, what should I ask? I don't want to make it too difficult. Give me some time to think. Munch, munch. All right, so you're wondering, like, what does it mean give us some time? Do I leave or what? But now nah, I just talk to him again. Oh, there okay. you go. Uh, look at his face. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> Grunt. Phew, I finally swallowed it. I, I guess he tried to swallow it whole. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> now, the quiz oh, begins. This first question is a freebie. What's the most popular drink at the cafe over there? So it's the thermal coffee, if you remember. Because he's talking right. about the cafe we went to. So thermal coffee. Is it correct? Here's question number two. What color is the mascot for Wild Duck Burger? Red, yellow, or green? Do you remember, actually? We've seen uh, him, the duck. Where are we going to eat? Let's, do, let's go red. No, it's actually a green, dude. It's a green duck. No! Ah, you're pretty good. Question three. What is the secret menu item at Hagakuri? Okay, I know this one. What is it? Uh oh, yep, it's the Hagakure dumplings. No, it's the bowl, dude. He's talking about Dang the. Uh, it. I'm pretty sure he's talking about. The, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's the the ramen place he's talking about. So, shoot. He's like, I'm impressed. You seem to have some knowledge about food, but it pales in comparison to mine. Let's see. Can you bring me something I've never eaten before? I doubt such a thing exists, though. If you succeed, then I'll accept you as a fellow gourmet. <laughs> Oh, Alright, so hopefully, mom, oh. I think we already have it. If not, I'm going to be very mad because it's like, it never it told me where to get it. So we talked to him. He's like, hmm, what is this mysterious food? Give that to me. You took. He took your odd morsel. So yeah, we got that at some point. I don't remember when. We did get that at some point from someone. It might have been Elizabeth because for one of the challenges. But regardless, we do have it. It's some food he's never eaten before because it's probably some weird supernatural thing. Is it? Oh, this is awful. But I'm impressed. <laughs> I haven't tasted something like that in all my life. I like you now. <laughs> that was it. That was enough to okay. impress him. <laughs> yeah, kind of weird, right? Uh, he says, we're at the same school, right? I can tell from your uniform. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this to you first thing, but would you mind not standing so close to me? It's because you're so thin and cool. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay. If people start thinking we're best friends or something, I'm going to end up as the uncool one. You know what? Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> uh, Middle-aged man. Yeah, I thought your voice sounded familiar. You know what I'm here for. Hand it over. Whoa, whoa it's, it's you. Help. Uh, emergency. Hey, you. Call the fire truck. Or, I mean, the... the. Call the police? <laughs> Yes, right. We think the same way. Pipe down. I don't want anyone getting suspicious, says a middle-aged man talking to a child. Look, <laughs> I have to take care of some business, but you're Nazumi Sumitsu, aren't you? Yeah, I thought so. You're going to have to reconsider. I really can't let this one slide. All right. So this guy knows this, other, this kid. The man left. Well, that was something. Normally, I wouldn't stand up to guys like him, but I'm trying to be passive nowadays. Mm -hmm. My name is mm -hmm. Nazumi Sumitsu. By the way, about what I said before, maybe it's not so bad having you stand in front of me. Nozumi seems to have warmed up to you. You have become no. acquainted with Nozumi Sumitsu the Gourmet King. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, so we made a new friend. This kid loves to eat. Yeah, so this one is rank uh, 15, 18. Rank 18, the Moon Arcana. So yeah, the Moon. Look at that. I haven't done that one before. That's new. Mm hmm. So, yep, so there we go. And what does it say now? All that arguing made me hungry. My stomach is definitely not amused. You want to tag along? Do you know who I am? I am called the Gourmet King, he says. He looks really pissed off. 
<laughs> That's right. It's my little nickname. I'm Gourmet King 2009, or was it 2010? Eh, whatever. I know all the best places for, uh... What? Oh, damn. Is it something? Is, he literally just ate a huge ass sandwich, apparently, when we came up, but he's still hungry. I mean, it wasn't enough, obviously. I guess not. He's like, that sounds like a tummy emergency. Sorry, I'll have to treat you in their time. Don't worry, I'll remember. Yeah, so it was an emergency. He had to run off to eat something, you know? So it's getting dark. We're going back to the dorm. All right, the dormitory lounge. Everyone is gathered. All right, so they're going to talk about something, I guess. Let's see real quick. So everyone's just like ellipses. What's everyone's wrong, like, too... everyone? Are you guys hungry? So I guess everyone's like too embarrassed to talk. Like it's a, it's a tense atmosphere, I guess. Yeah, I bet. Not really. An awkward silence fills the room. Um. I like when she does her eyes like that. They look really funny. She looks like a little like lost dog or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's almost summer break. Do you have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, babes in bikinis. Wait, he's back to normal? That sure would be nice. Well, I mean, he's, I mean, since he's talking to her, but I guess he's just trying to lighten the mood, you know what I mean? Because it was all awkward, I guess. I don't know. Somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But first, we have exams to worry about. Ugh, what a drag. Now, now, you'll be fine. But yeah, I'd love to go somewhere famous for its beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Mitsuru, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He will. You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and pay him a surprise visit? Seriously? We're going to go on a trip? Which is like everybody except you, Junpei. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like, just like, just like, twist the knife harder in this poor kid, right? That's all. Um, but he has uh, bad self confidence or whatever. Yes! Yeah. Beach babes, here I come. Ugh, men. <laughs> How about it, Mitsuru? But my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> don't worry. No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. I don't know. What if he's a dick? <laughs> yeah, no. Like, you're giving this guy a whole lot of credit. He could just be a complete jerk. Yeah. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. We already know when the next operation will be, so it should be fine. I don't know. Senpai, I'm begging you. <laughs> all right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> the beach. I should design a special training regimen. Dude, I am stoked. I have to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got an extra pair you can borrow. Uh, uh, nice try. <laughs> Are you going to swim too, Ikutsuki san? I'm afraid I can. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. Ah, I like that. <laughs> Whoa, was that a joke? Of course it was. Watch this like, no, he really is a vampire, you idiots. He, <laughs> it was the signs where they're all along. Uh, everyone's shy about the vacation. In the midst of the excitement, Mitsuru quietly begins to leave for her room. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. Mitsuru Senpai, wait! Uh, sorry about the other day. I got a little carried away. It'd be so messed up. Mitsuru slaps Yukari. Know your place, <laughs> trash. Uh, that'd be funny. I mean, it would be like really like messed up. It'd be kind of funny. Like, know your place, trash. Don't talk. <laughs> no one talks to the student council president that way. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident is still alive. But in reality, there is one witness who survived. Oh. There is? My father. Oh. So what I'm hearing is that she's gonna have to assassinate her own father. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Tsuru walked away as Yukari looked on in shock. Senpai. Alrighty, there we go. And I think that is a good place to stop. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. So we know we have exams coming up. We know have some. We know we have some sort of a trip coming up. So there you go. That is the exciting stuff. 
coming up that we'll probably get to next time. So pretty cool. So if you guys like what you saw, yeah. subscribe, all good stuff. Thank you, Trevor, for being here. Yeah, man, no problem. And I would definitely be here to see those beach babes. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.